Hey everybody, how is it going? Uh, welcome back to a, another hashtag Lockboss show and giveaway. Happy that all of you are here with us today. Of course, I have my uh, dad, Pete, aka the Lock Father. Okay. How's things? Things okay. Good, good. So we have a lot of fun stuff to uh, talk about and go over, and I guess some not so fun stuff, right? Right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, get started. I hope everybody is having a great uh, Tuesday afternoon. And of course, as you can see, I have our brand new March t-shirt on. Now this one, you know, uh, everyone wanted to get a little, uh, uh, what's the word? Creative. Let's just use the word creative. Let's creative. And um, have a little fun and do a kiss me, I'm a lock boss uh, shirt. So that's what it says on there. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, Connor did a great job on the uh, art. And um, yeah, so, so that's what we have going on. I need quite a few of those. I'm going to get some love in <laughs> Your mom will get jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You know, hey, the, the, there, there's no script for this. So I don't know how to respond, okay? <laughs> I'm a lovable guy. What can I say? You're a lovable guy. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get um, the show started here. Going to pop this up. So, of course, we're going to be going over post of the week, comment of the week, Locksmith Van Woes, a.k.a. Total. And <laughs> lastly, we're going to be going over this week's five lucky Lock Boss winners. So excited to announce those. All right, here we go. First, we got up post of the week. Let's see. Up, oh, you know what? I apologize. We have to back up for one second. Of course, cheers to all you out there drinking Topo Chico's. I've been actually waiting to take my first sip. Me too. There we go. All right. All right. Slight, inter slight interruption. We'll get back to it here. All right. So this first post here is from G Keyman 565 So it looks like he sent a couple different photos, and this is one of them. You can see the uh, framing um, uh, – Impression key holder for impressioning. Good stuff right there. G key man 565. Thanks for sending that in. Very cool. All right. Next up, you guys. Now, you guys don't have to check this out if you've ever seen it. So, um, this is a new CLK TikTok. And what you see there is a quick screenshot I took of Connor dancing about doing a lockout. So um, if you have not seen that, I believe it's on the Instagram Reels or on TikTok. So go and check that out. Pretty funny. Um, you know, I don't see this stuff until it gets posted. So I'm watching it with you guys when it gets posted. I'm like, man, that's pretty funny. Connor has some dance moves. Come on now. I'd like to see him. Have you seen it? No, but I'd like to see him move. I wonder if – no, I don't want to mess things up here. It's like, you know, I wonder if we – uh, did that, but it'd be too much of a delay here. Um, all right, let's keep moving on. So you have to check that out. Yeah, yeah. are you on? You have Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, I joined the other day. TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I get addicted watching all of the different. Ones. Okay, okay. Hold, hold on, hold on, guys. We have breaking news around here. The Walk Fathers on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you're a little embarrassed by it. Are you a little embarrassed? When I get bored. I sit there and scroll through them all. Okay. I mean, some of them are hilarious. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Let's get to comment of the week. This is by uh, O, looks like. And he says, uh, good video as always. I don't work with auto very often other than auto um, lockout situations, but I got to ask. What makes that lock high security? Isn't it pretty much a standard uh, wafer lock that users that uses uh, nubs instead of the wafers writing on the edge of the key? Sorry, I have to get in there to see it. Um, small. So good question. So thanks for uh, posting that, and um, that's actually a really good question. So. 
the short answer is they're not like oh, many years ago, they were like high security, right? Because I mean, they used a different machine. You couldn't pick them the same way. Um, but nowadays, I mean, you know, like it, it's kind of like they're also called laser keys, right? Does a laser make them? No, no, right? No, but that's just kind of the high security key. Laser key, sidewinder key. They're all referring to the same thing. Now, of course, if you remember back when they came out, right? And it was really like Mercedes back in the day, right? And you would get a Mercedes key and it's like, oh, wow, this is yeah. high tech, yeah, right? But as time uh, has went on. Uh, My key has one. Yeah, your key has yeah. one. Well, and they're just not really, you know, high tech the way that they used to be. Or the way they were well, they thought that was high tech too a long time ago mm -hmm. is that the kickback yeah um so <laughs> i just wanted to make sure because i don't know what i got half the time <laughs> um so I put a dance on eventually <laughs> okay yeah please do please do um if you don't mind this week no <laughs> so you know with with that being said so i mean I, when you when you hear high security in regards to like an automotive key like that H ninety four, it's just the the one of the slang terms that go along with it, um, so to speak. So hopefully that kind of clears it up a little bit. Um, and for all of you who don't really know what I'm talking about, the high like when you see like the H ninety four key that we did a video on last week, um, you'll hear it called high security key laser key or sidewinder key and they're all just referring to the same key it's either a two track or a four track um so meaning there's cuts on both sides i guess i'm throwing in more technical Inside terms around, at the end but yeah, yeah so um ho hopefully that helps hopefully that answers the question all right so now let's move it on to the uh main topic to discuss here so let me move this here. All right. So, you know, when you have a locksmithing business or do lock and key work, a lot of times that means you're not doing it at your facility all the time. You're having to go to places, which means you have some sort of a work van. And unfortunately, one of the realities or the many realities of having those is they can get broken into, they can get into accidents, they can break down. And essentially all of those scenarios lead to the same spot, which is um, you don't have what you need to get the job done, right? And so um, this last week, uh, yeah, about a week ago, right? A week ago, Friday, I guess. Yeah. Um, one of the uh, lock father's vans got into a really uh, bad accident. And uh, let me pull up, I'll show you a picture. And let's kind of talk about it, right? And um, let's talk about it. Like, here we go. Let's get the picture up. All right, here it is. So as you can see there, there's the uh, van that got hit really bad. And then you can see on the screen that says totaled. You can also see the truck that uh, hit him. So now it's important to say everyone is everybody's okay. Everybody's okay, right? So let's go ahead and get that kind of out of the way. But right. then if you could kind of talk us through. So you get a phone call, kind of take us through the the uh, whole situation. Well, I got a text with a picture. That's the picture I got. Okay, the one of your van. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So I called Tanner and asked him what's going on because his van's behind it. Uh, it says Ryan just got rear-ended. And I said, oh, is he okay? Oh, yeah. So he goes, but the van's total. And I said, well, as long as Brian's okay, that's all I care about. And the guy who rear-ended and was going 55, 60, never even slowed down. Brian happened to look in his rearview mirror and saw him not stopping. So Brian tried to get the heck out of the way so he didn't get the full force. So that's how you can, it's kind of in the side of the van. Right. And that's from him turning Turn, the wheel, right. kind of trying to get out of the way. Right. Because he would have been dead. Because you see the flatbed truck. He would have got a accordion, you know, with all the stuff in there. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, unfortunately, a van's down, you know, insurance company. 
you know, so yeah, it's total great. What do we do now? Yeah. So um, the good news is everyone's everybody's safe, good, right? Yeah. Everyone's good there. But well, let's kind of walk through the logistics a little bit because at some point, um, you're gonna everyone who's in the lock and key business is gonna find themselves without a van, maybe due to an accident, right? Maybe due to a breakdown, right? Maybe it was broken into and stuff was stolen out of it. So this happens on a Friday. I'm imagining Brian had uh, Brian's the name of the um, guy driving the van. Brian, how's it going? Um, if um, M- Monday comes around, well, well, I mean, first of all, like, was he on his way to a job or was he on his way back to your store? Yeah, he had two more jobs to do. He was headed to one. Okay. And, uh, you know, so we arranged one of the other vans. Uh, we finally got it towed and he took some personal stuff out of it and put it in one of the other vans because he drives his van from home home yeah and he lives you know 30 some miles away yeah. so he needed a ride home he already called his dad and asked him hey can you come pick me up well he did his dad doesn't have to we would have given it to him if that's what it came to but uh we got another van said okay you're gonna work inside next week because brian does a lot more than the other cack yeah and uh we you know luckily we have a spare van I bought an extra van just for something like this. Yeah. Well, the motor was no good, so it's in the process of getting a motor. <laughs> so your backup is in the shop getting the motor. Yes. And we got all the inside all done and whatnot. So we're just waiting for a new motor. So we have that backup for incidents if your van breaks down, they can always hop in that one and you know take their stuff and go. Uh huh. So you know so. Is he in a van right now, or like, what is he doing? Uh, yeah, he's got Matt's van. Okay, Matt's been working inside. Okay, so he took one of the other van available vans, essentially. Right. Okay, so he took one of the other available vans, and he's kind of limping along. Of course, it's never like working out of your van. But- and Brian, you do have everything in that van, including a microwave. Because <laughs> he doesn't, he, he needs every tool possible. There we go. And, and that's awesome. But boy, is that van crowded. Sure. Now, so he's working out of someone else's van. Not ideal, but he's able to still do jobs come Monday. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I want to switch the uh, conversation and talk about the other side of it. Right. And this is the, the e- lost side. <laughs> yeah. The hard part of it. And that is uh, you have insurance to deal with. Right. You have to get a new van. Right. Um, all of that incorporates some cost that you weren't expecting, right? Mo- yeah, Monday morning or Friday, that Friday morning when you got up, you were not thinking about having to go get a new van. I looked all weekend. But yeah, that night. Yeah. That was top of your mind. Right. Right. And so, of course, you've been in business. Um, longer than I have been alive. Right. And so you've had to deal with this before. And it, can you kind of walk us through, like, how do you prepare for this? How do you not let it just bug you forever? Oh, it still bugs me because you don't want to spend that money if you didn't have to. But reality is reality. Things are going to happen. Mm-hmm. So if you've got a bank full of money where you can just go get one, pay cash, most people don't, you know. What are they going to pay us for our van? Yeah, and used vans right now are absolutely out. They're about five to ten thousand dollars more than they should be. Mm-hmm. Something with two hundred and ninety thousand miles, they want twenty five or twenty nine thousand for it. that van's half dead. Yeah, so I'm not going to buy one of those. I'm going to buy a brand new van for thirty three. Really? Yeah. And but guess what? Nobody has them. You okay. have to wait, you know, eight to ten weeks. Okay. So, first of all, before I can buy anything, I want to know what the insurance company is going to pay me. Because all the shelving got ruined inside. They have to pay for that. They have to pay for the lettering. So, it's safe, safe to say you had full coverage. Yeah, I always have full coverage. Okay. You know, with, what, $2 million, because that's a lot of our contracts require us to have that yeah. on our vehicles. So at this point, I mean, you're just faced with a decision where, although you 
weren't planning on getting a new van, you now have to. Right. And, uh, I mean, how do you recommend for people? I mean, of course, when these situations happen, um, not it typically doesn't like align with perfect timing. Like, oh, hey, you know what? I just happen to have an extra 30 grand right now. Right. Right. Or this or that. Or I really just happen to have enough for a down payment, that kind of stuff. Like, how do you kind of process and think about well, that? Well, thank goodness that I always had more than one van in 90% of my career. Mm -hmm. So we always had one van that could keep moving. But, you know, those who work out of their van and only have a van, uh, they just can't say, oh, you got to come to the shop because customers want you to go to their house. So uh, you'd probably have to rent a van or something to put, you know, your tools in, pick up whatever, put a key machine. Hopefully you have a portable power supply. Yeah. That's where the 008 mobile would be fantastic. Yeah. And make a work shift workbench in there so you can go do your job. Yeah. So your name's not on the side of van. That's okay. Yeah. But you can keep moving and making money. You may, won't be as efficient. Sure. But you can still pay yourself and put some food on the table. Yeah. But it, it, it is, you know, I, I've looked and looked and looked and I can't believe it. It's tough. It's a stressful on the business side of things. It's a stressful event. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, you probably wouldn't have been looking all weekend that following weekend about a van. Right. For a van had not that happened. Right. So well, it kind of yeah. shifted what you were thinking about. Well, yeah, because I had gout that weekend, so I couldn't even get out of bed because my foot hurt. So it was perfect weekend <laughs> if you had to have something happen. Uh, yeah, I you guess. Know, so I could stay on my phone the whole time and look. Look and kind of prep I mean, yourself. I went from Portland, Seattle Missoula, everything in between those just five cities, find. new, used, yeah. and they're just, you know, the cargo vans are very difficult. You can find passenger vans, but I don't like all those windows because somebody could break them and take something. Yeah. So, okay. you know, it is stressful. Yeah, it's stressful. And so do you have any advice for people? I mean, the, the stressful end of it, the like, I got to come up with money, you know, and um, maybe when it happens to someone, it's not like the busy time of the year. Maybe cash flows tight, right? All these different elements right. kind of play into it, and it's tough to make sound decisions Absolutely. when you get flustered, right? Right. I mean, I've had to use my personal vehicle many times when something went down. Yeah. You know, even just an auto repair. You know, oh well, it's going to be a week, and you go, oh, great. How am I going to do all this? these jobs yeah because you don't want to cut your customer off sure so you make shift if you got a car hop in and work out of the trunk whatever you got to do yeah you know it's not easy because you can't keep everything yeah so hopefully you have a shop or a garage where you keep a lot of your stuff yeah. and you're able to say okay this job's going to take this this and this and bring a little extra and go do it absolutely Good stuff. I got one last question about, okay. about this, and uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the lock boss winners this week. Okay. And this question is, I think, really important, um, and that is when it comes to vehicle coverage on this van that you have, right. did you include a policy for any damaged tools or any damaged tools covered? Well, as long as they're bolted down. As long as they're bolted, bolted down. down. So I had one of the vans get broken into. Yeah. And as long as it's a hand tool, it's not bolted down, they won't cover it. They won't cover it. Okay. So that, that's really important, everybody. So you want to make sure, okay, call your insurance agent and make sure, hopefully you already have already, but if you haven't, just make that phone call and talk to them about the coverage of you, the contents inside the vehicle. Now, this is something easy to kind of skim past, but you want to really make sure, like, or even when you ask them, they could just give you a blanket like yes or a no. And dig into it a little bit. Be like, okay, I have a key machine. I have this or that. If my van gets into an accident, are these things covered? Because you want to make sure that you have coverage on your most valuable uh, right, because insurance companies will sell you a policy for everything to be covered, mm -hmm. but it, it's going to cost you an unbelievable amount of money. Yeah. 
So it's the majors. Yep. And like our signage, I have that insured. So they have to replace that. Yeah. For any cabinets, your time to rip everything out. Because it took Brian, what, three days to take everything out. Yeah. And now with the new van, whatever we get, now it's going to take a week to get everything put in and, you know, built the way you want. Yeah. Now, did did, did Brian, he has a Futura Auto in that yes. van, right? Did that make it out okay? That it did. It did? It did the other side. Okay, good, good. All right, so that made it out. So, um, you know, I guess one of the big morals of the story here is um, for me and watching this experience is to really make sure that you know exactly what is covered um, on your insurance policy for your van. And it's wise, even for an older van, to have full coverage. For this situation. For this situation, because let's say you got uh, somebody hits you on the side. Well, you only have, you know, comp, whatever the states require. Well, that's not part of it. You're going to have to go after theirs. Yep. Well, if theirs isn't around, then you, you can drive around with a big old ding in it, you know? Yeah. And we've had some of those in a parking lot. Amber's van got hit, yeah. you know, while she was in her house. Yeah. Well, nobody can go. So we had our $1,000 deductible and you go from there. But... You do want full coverage. Yeah. So it gets covered because most locksmiths, including me, don't have that extra money to throw out. If they total it, you're going to get something back to nothing. Sure. You know. Yeah. Good point. Good point. So everybody, I hope that's all. We'd love to hear your input in the uh, comments below. Love to read that here in a little bit. But let's uh, go ahead and let's move on to this week's five lock boss winners now that of course thanks for coming on talking about it appreciate yeah, no it and uh you know something we need to dive into maybe a q a in a few weeks two three weeks is uh well we need to talk about your origin story of how you got locksmithing right and how we listed that you know we did the video and we can have um anyone ask questions that they have oh yeah so that'd be kind of fun so all right, everybody. Well, here we go. It is giveaway time. There's one last uh, look at that uh, van there. You see that pickup's completely totaled with it. That pickup's messed up. I mean, the pickup from at least this distance looks a lot worse it is. than the van. <laughs> right. And the guy said it was his vault. He was playing on his radio. Is that code for phone? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, here we go. This week's giveaway winners. Let's go over the details here. Okay, so what to do if you win? You're going to want to email us your shipping info at sale uh, to um, CLK Supply. Or, man, hold on. Email us your shipping info to sales at clksupplies.com or call us at 800-848-698. Now, that's a little tongue twister there for me, wasn't it? Tonight. And then we'll make sure we'll send your <coughs> gifts soon. How to win. If you're new and you might be asking that question, uh, what's going on with this giveaway? Uh, how do I enter? Well, let me explain it really quick in a really simple way. Uh, all you need to do is comment on our videos with the hashtag LockBoss. Winners will be chosen from comments on the previous week's video. No purchase necessary. It's really that simple. So with that being said, let's go ahead and announce this week's five winners. Sounds Are you good. ready? Let's yep. take one more drink here. Topo, here we go. This week's winner number one is... Frank McGrath. Frank, congratulations. Here we go. Winner number two is Carlos Manora, Cam Locksmith. Congratulations, Carlos. Very cool. Here we go. Winner number three is Kenneth Johnson. Kenneth, congratulations. Winner number four this week is... Motorhead Redo. That almost fits in the theme with uh, the van. Yeah, exactly. Motorhead Redo. Congratulations. congratulations. 
Um, and last but not least, winner number five this week is Sam Lee. Sam Lee, congratulations. congratulations. And here you go. Here's another picture of the uh, Kiss Me, I'm a, locks, I'm a Lock Boss shirt. And I got to wear those everywhere. Yeah, right. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Have a little fun with it. Um, you know, the uh, team really wanted to do something for March. That was kind of uh, fun, a little cheeky. And so there. A little cheeky. Yeah. Yep. There you have it. So thanks, everybody. Hey, thank you for hanging out. Um, we'd love to know your feedback on the vans and uh, maybe your like any strategies that you have for uh in your van with the inventory or the equipment in there for insurance claims. It'd be fun to kind of spread that information around a little bit so we can all learn together. Yep. Hey, more information for everybody. Absolutely. You, know, you never think you're going to need it, but until you do, that's it. Until you do. Everybody, I hope you all have a great evening. Dad, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks. And we'll see you all same place, same time next Tuesday. 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Have a great evening. Yep. We'll see you. Bye.